Turtles getting a drink. Turtles getting a drink. Turtles getting a drink. Negative creep. Where am I looking? <laughs> Negative creep for Bish Skate, Jack Cottrell, and Roni Bass. But before we get going, I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Alexanders, Piotr Buscek, and Steve Eller. Folks, thank you very, very, very much for your support. It's all in the wrist. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. The first step in an operation such as this is to tune your low E string down two notes or one whole step to D. Now you're in drop D. We're gonna need two very special moves for this song. The first one is known in the scientific community as a capital B, double E, Y, double O, M, B, U, M. <laughs> with volume. You can do it from anywhere up here. It doesn't matter. Grab a fret, grab some strings, and go down. The opposite of that is, of course, an M double E Y double O capital B Muyib. You're gonna pluck your low strings open twice. That's gonna be beat one and two. One, two. Your Muyib is gonna be beat three. One, two, three. Beats four, five, six, and seven are gonna be the open strings again, but leave your hand up here so that you can beam next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 It's all about the counting until you don't have to, so count until you can feel it and then you don't have to count anymore. We're also gonna need not a bend, not a wiggle, but a bend with a wiggle at the end, a bewiggle, if you will. You're gonna have done your muib bium technique, and then you do three plain open strings, one, two, three, four, First, you do them wherever you want, because you can't do this wrong, right? But I watched some live versions, and Kurt was curiously consistent with where he did his wiggles. The first one was on E5, and bend these as far as you can. The second one was on A12, and the third one was on E3. You know, now D used to be E3. So you'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, or wherever the heck you want. You cannot do this wrong. For the chorus, grab the A string fifth fret with your ring finger, and we're gonna go five, five, three, before we grab a fourth fret drop D style power chord. So that's four, four, four on the fat three strings. Then the A string's gonna go open, open, three, six. And here's a move I don't believe I've ever done before. From six, with your ring finger, you're gonna slide down to five, pull off to three, pull off to open. It's a slide, pull off, pull off. And if you listen on the record, sometimes it's really crisp and sometimes it's awfully flubbed and fluzzy, but that's kind of the point of it. It's a Nirvana song. The more disgusting and awful you make this, the more correct it is. So go ahead and stumble and slur it and hiccup and just go fast and it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Everything you need to know to play the song, but of course on this channel we don't just learn to play songs We strive to make sense of them to tease out the logic the artistic preferences of the artist so that we can stop Memorizing everything so much and learn to speak music which means it's time for the latest installment of our new segment called What's the lesson here starring Miss Poopadoo? Doo? 
Welcome back. Thanks for coming. Nice to have you. I have taken the liberty of writing down every single note in this song. Forgive me, I mixed sharps and flats. Notes in chords. Notes at the beginning of the bewiggle and at the end of the bewiggle when you're wiggling after the bewa and there are ten of them. Ten separate notes. Any given key only has seven notes in it. You can add notes and that's okay, but usually there's precedent. These notes that we use, minor thirds, flat fifths, things. This song is so far removed from being part of any key that it's unhelpful to categorize it. There is no logic to tease out here, and that's why we love it. That's why we love Kurt Cobain. He just picked up his guitar, and he made a bunch of noise, and he made art, art that we like, out of things that most mere mortals, I would say all mere mortals, can't make art out of. So that's the lesson here. There is no lesson. Ha ha, tricked you. <laughs> But I would argue that that no lesson lesson, that no category thing is helpful in and of itself. As humans, we love to make sense of the world by putting things into categories. Orange things, tiny things, things that smell bad when you sit on them. And now we've made the category of song that is the no category category, which is a category in and of itself. I would love to take this moment to plug my friend Henrik's book, It's All About what we just talked about. So if you love, you know, Nirvana and you love punk rock, punk rock is freedom. I will put the link in the description. Hi, Henrik. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.